let's go back to the bigger picture because you know what the market was like, the individual market before. I mean, mm -hmm. you had to be really healthy yeah. to get a policy and to get a good price. If yeah. you weren't, you were... You could be denied coverage for having allergies because allergies could lead potentially to asthma. And oh my goodness, that could mean a hospitalization. And yeah, so you had to be pretty young and healthy to be able to get a good price. And, or, and, and then if you weren't, if you had any kind of a pre-existing condition, you probably couldn't buy it at all. Not just that it wasn't affordable, but they don't have to, they didn't have to even insure you. So a lot of people were just denied, and those are the ones that ended up in, in our high-risk pool. Or you bought coverage, and, and the, the very reason you really needed the coverage was excluded for a year, all kinds yeah. of things. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the system that, I mean, the system that's replacing that system, is it better for the consumer? Yes, yes. We're managing, companies are being forced now to manage risk in ways that they have not managed. They've avoided risk. The old system avoided risk. And now they're having to manage it. They're having to figure out how to. So the, the focus then is on really making sure the services that are being delivered and paid for are appropriate and, and that the person is getting the follow-up care they need to manage their diabetes, to manage their... Um, pulmonary disease, to manage their heart disease. So it's, I think you're going to see a much more active partnership, hopefully, with the health plans and the providers to, you know, to, monitor, to monitor quality. And that they get, they get to, on the medical loss ratio, if they're doing more to enhance quality, they can, that can be considered a, a, a health expenditure.